quarterfinal round of the NJCAA Division III Men's Soccer Championship. The winner moves on to the national semifinal. The loser's national championship hunt will come to an end. The seven seed Howard Community College battling Genesee Community College, the number two seed. Genesee, 17 wins, two losses, and a draw entering the quarterfinal. This is the third straight season the Cougars have earned one of Region 3's two bids to nationals. Howard comes in with 13 wins, five losses, and a draw. Dragons making their first appearance at nationals since 2011. First half, Genesee possession. Glenn Holmes, sophomore out of Ireland, gliding through midfield and into the final third. Holmes! Simon Bradford comes up with the save. Ross White in possession now for Genesee. Christian Alfaro wins it for Howard. Alfaro threatening. Sensational ball for Steve Amonqua. He gets behind the defender, running free. Amonqua! Composure on the finish, and Howard takes the lead. Later in the first half, corner kick for Genesee. Ryan Price gets on the end of it. Bill Murphy on the rebound. Simon Bradford rises to the occasion yet again. After a Howard chance, here come the Cougars racing downfield. Price. Genesee's moving with momentum and confidence. Cougars have Howard on the ropes. And we're level. Genesee winning the possession battle convincingly. Tate Dean quickly wins it back for GCC. Ryan Price, no! Simon Bradford denies Dean on the rebound attempt. Cougars are beginning to unlock Howard's defense. Genesee, the number two seed, passing the eye test in the national quarterfinal. Superb passing and discipline from the Cougars. Second half now, we're tied, but Genesee imposing its will. Howard struggling to get a leg on the ball here in the second half. Throw in for the Cougars on the far touch line. Billy Murphy jumps on it, breaks free, and charges into the 18. Sam Hall, who just entered the game, trots on and gives Genesee its long-awaited and well-deserved second goal. 73rd minute, Cougars continue to have their way. Here's another chance for Genesee. Dangerous ball in, Price, and Bradford goes down. Tate Dean feasts on the empty net. Genesee eliminates Howard from national championship contention. Cougars are moving on to the semifinal. Dragons will play a consolation match Friday, November 10th. Bryce, after the game, where, just where are your emotions right now after making it all the way to the quarterfinals and then suffering a tough loss today? Well, we worked really hard to get here to the Nationals, and it's, uh, it's a disappointing loss, but that was a good team we played. Um, they play, they outplayed us pretty much the whole game, except the first 10 minutes. I thought we did well. Uh, Steve had a good chance in the first and put it away, but we couldn't put away our other chances, so there's nothing really you can do unless you put those chances away. You're not going to win the games. What do you think was the challenge with possession? It seemed like Genesee, they were really able to control the ball out and win a lot of 50-50s today. Well, they uh, their players had a lot of heart. They're number three. He would he probably smarter than Drew, but he'd get up over Justin and not putting anything against Justin, but they just they were just fighting hard. And <clears throat> we just we just sat deep once they started putting pressure on us and we just couldn't we couldn't get that momentum back in it and they just outplayed us today. Nothing nothing else really. So after right now is a low, I know, obviously how do you how do you personally get up for tomorrow? It's still a big game. It's you know important for the program. The consolation match against whoever uh, drops this match right here. How do you get up for tomorrow and just put this in the rearview mirror? Well, we're a uh, very we're we're basically a family as a team, and uh, we we pick each other up, and we're all disappointed, but we're going to come out tomorrow strong. We've already played Suffolk 
Uh, they're the lower seed, so we, hopefully we get to see them again. We want to we want to play them again, but you know we're just going to wake up tomorrow and try our hardest. So I know Suffolk. They that was an early defeat for your team. How, what do you think's changed since you know that game for your team? Uh, I think pretty much everything changed. In the beginning of the season, we were <clears throat> we weren't a, 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 as good as we were now, and I think we're very. St even though we just lost, we're still a very very strong team. You know, we made it to nationals. That that says everything. So I think we're going to do well against Suffolk if we play them and Camden. Genesee, it was it was a tough loss today. How do you think the game went today? In your, in your mind? I think we showed a lot of heart. It was a great performance by us, but it was better by them. Uh, with their experience, they definitely were able to rule it. Um, but a great effort out of us. We showed all that we got, and uh, we just couldn't turn it out our way. How do you feel the team dealt with the physicality? It seemed like it was very chippy out there, and there were some calls that maybe didn't go your team's way. How do you think your team responded to the physicality and a couple calls not going your way? Um, I think we responded great. Uh, I mean, a few here and there were kind of either way, but um, I think we did great. We really didn't uh, show any frustration. We kind of just kept going, kept playing. I think that's what helped us. So when you look back a couple years from now and think back to this game, what's going to you know come to mind? Uh, definitely Steve's goal. That was that was crazy. That was right out of the game, right at the beginning of the game. Um, it was electrifying. It, it felt great. So I know tomorrow, consolation match against whoever loses this one here. There's a chance it could be Suffolk. How, it's, it's a big game for the program, even though you know, it's no longer, you're no longer competing for the national championship, but it's still a, a game against a top eight team in the country. A win would be huge for Coach Dragunov and the program. How do you motivate yourself and, and your team for tomorrow? Um, well, I know we're going to get a good rest tonight, uh, definitely. And uh, we're just going to get mentally prepared, as we did for today's game, for tomorrow's game. Just try to go out there and get a win. Last game today with your teammates. What's that going to be like tomorrow? Putting that in perspective. Um, it's going to be. It's going to be really hard. It's going to be hard. We came together as a family. We were so close for so long, and um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be fun, but uh, it's definitely going to be hard without them.